bed that he has seen it in, in the practices and seen it in the spring that this team is really prepared. And there is a nice play from Halston Hillier in transition. Then four. This is Leah Wilcox. She's been a big key, according to Paul Hamas, that she was injured in the preseason. That's something that you're likely to see a lot tonight. We've said it over and over in broadcast that Troy has a tendency to get blocked. Um, and when you have a team like this that they're so strong at the net. I now hitting will be Jillian Kilgrow. Oh, but a good play from Caitlin Cooper. An injury in the preseason, she's come out and really made an impact. She's someone that you don't see with super high numbers on the stat sheet, but she's very efficient. You can see her hitting percentage is normally very high, um, and so you don't always see that necessarily with high stat numbers as well as her efficiency is what really makes an impact for the Trojan offense. Power. Here's another go set, this one to Hayes, and she uses the block off the hands of the block of Griffin and Stroud and Troy now with a three-point lead. A nice diving dig from Anderson. And things have gone consistently uphill since Lowry's been here. Uh, Troy has not had a winning season since 2012. As there, Cooper ends a 5-0 Georgia State scoring run as they had had a few blocks in there against the Trojans. It's a tough stretch for the Trojans. They, November 1st and 2nd, have App State and Coastal Carolina, uh, two very good teams in the league, Coastal Carolina and App, sitting at 1-2 and two for quite some time until and are just now starting to play each other here late in Sunbelt Conference play. And so I think you can expect to start maybe seeing a little bit of separation in those standings now as a lot of these teams are about to start hitting each other. The Georgia State with the serve. We're looking side out quickly, and they do. That's a, a first ball side out for Troy. Dara has two assists, 10 digs tonight. 28 digs for Georgia State, 32 for the Trojans. And the defensive, Sunbelt Defensive Player of the Week, Lacey Jeffcoat. Already set to serve. Over to Genver. Genver puts it right at Hodgett, who can't. Get it like she'd like to. Out. Oh, that was four touches. Again, we've had some good rallies these past couple of sets because of defensive plays like that. A great play from Natalie Hummel. Have to see how everything shakes out. It's Troy now with an eight, nine point lead. I think it's really interesting to kind of note, like you said, different way of getting to the conference tournament this year. You know, maybe communication could have been a little bit of a struggle there with that backwards slide set, but they've been able to ha use it very efficiently because they have that long-term relationship. Uh, and then Julia Brooks says, hey, watch this. I can do it too. And she, I think if she was confident in it, maybe they would have tried that challenge. Well, again, missed timing there from Hare and Silman. There's the set, and there, right at Hare. 